Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we're making a miniature fairy doll. This little fairy doll is a smaller version of my basic fairy doll. If you're new to my fairy doll tutorials, welcome. And if you've already made fairies with me before, then this is something I've had requested. So let's grab some supplies and get started. The first thing you'll need is a piece of floral wire. And this is cloth covered floral wire. Um, I just found this at the craft store in the floral section and then you'll need some round beads um, for this miniature fairy doll we'll need one half inch round beads with a 1 8 inch hole and then we'll also need some embroidery floss I have a color for the skin a color for the clothes and a color for the hair and then we'll be using just a silk flower um, I got this at the craft store and we'll be using the smaller petals on this and then I'm going to decorate my doll with a little bit of glitter. I have some small scissors, the smaller the better for this project, and some flat nose pliers that also have, um, they are wire cutters also, and a ruler. And then of course, my glue gun set on low. I like setting it on low because it's easier to work with the glue. All right, the first step is to fold your wire in half and line up the ends so it's perfectly in half and then you're going to grab the color that you want to use for the hair and you're going to take the packaging off and make it a big loop and then cut through one end of the loop. This is a little bit different than my basic fairy doll tutorial and then you're going to split that in half. Take half of it and put it through the end of the folded end of your floral wire. Now the next step is to grab your little wooden bead and it's the exact same. We're going to thread the bead through the end of the floral wire and you'll notice if you push it all the way up to the top it actually slides over the hair. That's because we don't have as much hair up at the top to hold it in place. So what I do is I put a little dab of glue on the floral wire before I slide the bead up. I let it set for just a second and then I push the bead up so that it holds the bead in place. If I need to add a little bit more glue at that point, I do. Now we're going to twist the wire into the fairy doll's body. Now the big difference on this part is we are going to measure her arms to one inch. In my basic fairy doll tutorial, we measure the arms to one and a half inch. For our little miniature fairy doll, we're only measuring her arms to one inch. Then you're going to twist her body and you're going to measure her to be about three and one fourth inches long. So three and a fourth. So I measure down to three and a fourth and then I'm going to use my floral wires and cut the rest of her, the end of the floral wire off. And now we have our fairy body. Then you're going to grab your embroidery floss that you've chosen for her skin and you're going to cover your doll with the embroidery floss. Please refer back to my basic fairy doll tutorial for more detailed instructions on how to do this part. It is exactly the same in my basic fairy doll tutorial as it is on this part. I do like to use my little flat nose pliers to kind of flatten out her arms a little bit so they're a little bit smaller and easier to wrap around. but. Basically, you're just following those same steps for wrapping the, the embroidery floss around your doll as in my basic fairy doll tutorial. Pretty much the big differences with this doll are that you're using a smaller bead for the head. She's obviously smaller. You're using half the amount of hair and then we're measuring her arms to one inch and we're the total size of our doll is about three and one quarter inches. So after you have her covered in the embroidery floss for her skin, grab the color that you're choosing for her clothes. Once again, if you have questions, please click on my basic fairy doll tutorial for more detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to dress your fairy doll with embroidery floss. The next step is to grab the flower that you've chosen for her skirt. And you'll notice that I'm only using the smaller inside part of the petals. One cool thing about this is these are the petals that I normally don't use on my bigger fairy dolls. So it was nice to be able to use up some of my smaller petals I have left over from other projects. And I'm using about three petals here 
and they're just the inside smaller petals on this silk flower. And you can find these at any craft store. I've found a lot of great flowers I use for my fairies at the dollar store. And I'm always kind of on the lookout for cute flowers that will make a fun skirt for a fairy doll. And once again, if you have questions on how to attach the skirt, please refer back to that basic fairy doll tutorial. And once we have her skirt on, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter to her. I always leave the hair to the very end because the hair is the hardest thing to do. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue and a little bit of glitter. The fun part about decorating these dolls is you can really decorate them any way you'd like. So they're a lot of fun to personalize and every single doll ends up being very unique. For some ideas on other ways that you can decorate fairy dolls, please check out some of my other fairy doll tutorials and you will find those on my YouTube channel. Okay, and once we've poured our glitter back into the container, the last step is to do her hair. Now, this is, I'm doing this the exact same way as I do in my basic fairy doll tutorial. The only difference is instead of having a big loop, we have uh, blunt ends that have been cut off. So I'm going to trim off the ends so there aren't any scraggly pieces and hold those tightly, pinch them in one hand, and then I'm putting my doll face down. I'm putting a dab of glue on the back of her head and then I'm folding the hair up and around and I'm attaching those ends right into the glue. And this is a little bit trickier. Um, one of the reasons that I leave it looped when I do my basic fairy doll tutorial is that it's just a lot easier to attach the hair to the back of the little bead. So you might have to mess with it a little bit. You might have to go, go back and add some more glue and then just style her hair the way you'd like. So what I like to do with mine is just really smooth it out and then I give her a little haircut. You can make her hair as long or as short as you'd like. And I decided to go back and add a tiny bit more glitter to mine. The more glitter, the better. And honestly guys, that's it, you're all set. So my sweet little fairy doll measures about three and a quarter inches. My basic fairy doll measures six inches. So now you have two different sizes of fairy dolls. This would be a really cute little flower girl to go along with my bride and groom. And there's just a lot of fun options. These would actually make really great Christmas ornaments. Just looping a little piece of string or something into the top of it to use as a Christmas ornament. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please post those below. Give this a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. That would be awesome. Check out some of my other tutorials on my YouTube channel or on my website, untidyartist.com. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks.